So what is your worst fear? What is something that terrifies you when thinking about it? Feel free to add it in chat if you're here on Twitch or in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. But for many, buried alive is definitely on the top of the list, or at least being in claustrophobic spaces. In this game is going to invoke that fear quite a bit. You wake up buried alive. You are running out of oxygen and you can't remember how you got here. There must be a way out. Can you figure it out in time? This came out October 30th by Authogen, who also did Confabulation and Confabulation Homestead, which, if you haven't seen those games, I have playthroughs on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mindmindtv. Check them out. They're very fun, very cool, very niche, different to the sort of genre it's kind of in. It's just a really neat experience. It's hard to describe. You got to check it out for yourself. So check out those videos on YouTube. But without further ado, let's see what it's all about. Let's see about how it is to be buried alive. Used to do that with lighters, mess with it enough, you can make the flame huge. That is true. I, I have done that too. Excuse me? Oh. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuckity fucking fucking. Help! Fuckity McFuckface. Help me! Please! Mm. Shit! And fuck. Okay. Shit fuck. He's my Shit. spirit animal. This is okay. That's fair. I've been saying this all in my brain all today, okay. so. Shit. Where I can is already it? relate. Where is it? All right. Okay. Okay, so our character finds themselves <clears throat> in this casket. Locks inside, multiple locks. He's surrounded by trash. He's trying to find his phone, finds his phone. We see we only have 24%, no service. No connection. So this is our flashlight. Okay. I like the voiceover, actually. The voiceover is not bad, especially for, like, a really quick thing that the developer put together. Being in the dark is not good for your anxiety. While in the dark, your anxiety will increase quickly, causing you to panic, which will rapidly reduce how much oxygen you have left. Not an easy system to put together, by the way, so the fact that Authogen did this pretty quickly is pretty damn impressive. Keeping the lights on will make you feel safe and reduce anxiety levels. The only problem is your light sources cannot stay on forever. Be mindful of your light sources and be careful while staying in the dark. I mean, we have the glow of the phone, right? Just like at night when you're in bed. Okay, so we need a code for that box. Oh, okay, there's a code item right there. So we have zero, we know that much. Get out of here. Light sources. Managing your light sources are very important. To use your lighter, press 2. Phone light. It, so the phone light's going to be the brightest thing. That's going to be the most beneficial, especially for things farther down in the coffin. But the lighter will probably last longer. Hey, there we go. Okay, now we're rocking. What is that? All right, so we got 5, 0. So I'm seeing... Zero and five. I'm not sure where else to look here. <clears throat> okay, so need a screwdriver maybe too. Can you look right above your head? Oh, yeah. Hey, there you go. You will die here. Hey, fuck you. Rude. I need a key. I have I a key. For this. I just I need a key. Kiss my ass. Okay, it's just for that one. Fine. Is that a rock? What the hell did I just pick up? Is that a lump of coal? What did I? What am I grabbing? Do I have an inventory? I don't. Okay. Well, fine. Wait. Okay. Hold up. That was a hand on my body. Okay. This is not <clears throat> how I die. That was uh disturbing. Zero five. We picked up stuff, but I don't know I what. I need something for this. Because I, I we don't for this. have an inventory. I don't know what I'm grabbing. I need something for this. I need something. They're like little for this. white things, and I don't know what. I need a key. I need something for this. I need <clears> a key. <throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, ma'am. That's what she said. <laughs> that is terrifying. Go away. 
I wish I could move my arm. Oh, the head is still there. I don't like it. Oh, there's a hand there, too. That's fucking great. Hey, stop it. Stop with the move. Stop it. I see five, which I think is on a shoe. I see a head staring at me. I don't like that at all. I see a zero. I picked up stuff, but I have no idea what I picked up. Get off of me. Grabby McGrabberson. I can do this. Get your own coffin. Where else do you want me to? Oh, one. Five, one, zero. <clears throat> I think. Five. There we go. Hey, Creeper, how's it going? <clears throat> I need a key. Not that one. Okay, that one. Hey, can I hit this thing with a hammer? Oh, okay, well, that works. I found a coin somehow behind my arm or something. Shut up. I will get out. I will get out. I will get out. Tell old mate to walk it off. You're fine walking key. off. I need a key. All right, so we've unscrewed the sides there, so the brackets oh, are off. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You think she was holding a coin? Might have been, like in the hand we just couldn't see. Because the lighter was out. I mean, we're, we're totally dead at this point, but... So this is one of those puzzle games where you're going to fail Shit. until you pick up on the different elements. Until okay. you figure out, like, okay, where Shit. things are and how to interact with them. This is okay. But it is weird, though, that it, once you run out of light sources, okay. that okay. they're just like, Shit. well, you, you're still here. And I'm just like... I don't know, just end game. I don't know. Where is it doesn't make it? sense to sit there in the dark, you know. All right. Okay. Okay, it's five, three, four. I can do this. Damn. First try, let's go. Hammer time. I need something for this. I need a key. I need a key. Yo mama needs a key. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, and that's how you keep your phone to last. That's good to know. Oh, balls. What? What? Oh. Oh, hey. Okay, sweet. So that's what those little white things are that we were picking up. Can you shut up, please? Stop it. Oh, oh, the note above us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like uh, five, five, three, five. Okay. Five, five, three, five. You would assume this is five, right? One, two, three, four, five, five, three, five, five. Okay. Um. No. Okay. Shut up. I hear you and I don't like it. Oh, that clicked. Okay. So five is down, not up. Interesting. I'm going to need you to stop. I 
need something for this. What do you need? I need something for this. I need something for this. I oh, need something give, for this. Give, give me your hand. Give me that coin. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate your help. To the corpse just wants a friend. That's all. Tappity tap tap. It's a cor it's about to be a corpse party if I don't get out. Everything's fine. I think everything's fine. Do you think everything's fine? I think that's a yes. Where'd the spider go? Don't ask. It, it's very freaky, yeah. It's opening. It's opening. He's actually having a really good time with the ghost. <laughs> That escalated quickly. Finally. True. You have escaped. Thank you so much for playing Buried. I wanted to create something different and interesting for Halloween 2023. I spent a month creating this game, so I hope you have enjoyed the experience. This was a lot of fun to make and a big challenge to put it uh, to put it out in such a short amount of time. I would love to continue this game, though. I would I would love to see something a little more advanced, right? Like more layers to it and everything else. Like, you could really do an interesting sort of, like, mortuary assistant with you being trapped in the coffin. Now, of course, it's quite limited because of the limited space, but already, all the djinn did quite a bit here, right? It was about moving things around and viewing them from different perspectives, moving things out of the way, even if it's your own hands to look around. It's not quite obvious, though, that you can, of course move your hands because you're trying and you can't you really just have to basically put the item away that you have in that hand and that naturally puts it down but i think with more time you could refine that system so it's a little more a little more user friendly but at the same time it was clever very clever things of okay look here look here where does this go where does this go so i like it it's short and sweet and quick for a month it's actually quite impressive it looks good it sounds good we did have a little bit of a bug uh, during the second run to try to while we were trying to figure things out, but other than that, it's it's pretty smooth. On the fourth, he said he has an update coming for this game. Oh, that's awesome! The patch will include new puzzles, need to escape, new horror events, need uh, a much more complete foam with much more lore and things to find. Many bug fixes and balance adjustments. And see, we really didn't have a lot in the way of anything paranormal which was interesting right like we had the head there and we had the hand that would sometimes come on our chest which freaked me out initially because i was like oh it's my hand i'm like no that's not my hand my hand's holding the phone <laughs> wait a minute and then of course the other hand with the coin on the other side but like i thought there was going to be more right i thought there was going to be like it coming from our feet because i thought i saw a picture of that but we didn't have that experience in any of it like it, it took us three times the second time because we bugged out uh, to eventually figure things out, right? So I, I would love to see more events, more ghost events or things to freak you out. I mean, we get the breathing, which is really nice. We get some of the, like, the scratching and all that, especially when it gets darker. Uh, I think maybe we were just balancing light sources in the end there a lot better. So our anxiety didn't boost up high enough to freak us out to the point where we were seeing more stuff, maybe. If you know going in that it's a short and sweet game for right now and that there's a potential of growing it out, it's a very interesting concept. It's a puzzle game, right? It's a point and click puzzle game, but with a very creepy element attached to it, right? Being in this very scary situation of being locked up in a coffin and having paranormal or your mind playing games on you, whatever it may be, right? But you're not exactly alone in there. So overall, knowing the fact that this game is supposed to be short and sweet, 
just a fun, quick little ride that now we're seeing will have updates to it to add more depth to it, which is awesome. At that point, for the experience, knowing all this in advance, I would give this game like a solid seven. I think it's it's enjoyable, right? You get caught up into it. You're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. There are some quality of life things that, that need to be done, but overall, sounds like those are coming down the line in that even though this is technically 1.0, because of people's interest in it and the developer's interest in it, it, you really need to think about it like an early access game at that point. It is 1.0, but more stuff is coming to be added onto it. So that is honestly very exciting and something where I would actually return back to see what else Altogen does with this. So I, I would say it's definitely worth it. If you like horror games and you like something with a little bit of like puzzle and timing and maybe you want to do it for speed runs and stuff, definitely a game to check out. It's short, it's sweet, it doesn't overstay its welcome, but it is something where it's like, I personally would not mind seeing a little bit more and we're going to get a little bit more. So check it out now for yourself and I will see you in the next video.